Hello YouTubers, it is of course me Trollface the Man, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit interesting, because it is based off of something I found out about uh, that... It's a scientific demonstration, and I'm super excited to show you because it is very, very cool, and I've never seen anything like it. And yes, I know my hands are dirty. Um, I have a combination of my skin's been stained by goldenrod tea that had oxidized and apparently turned super, super brown. It's got on my hands, and uh, the other thing is is that I have uh, adhesive on my hands that's getting kind of like sticking and uh, picking up dirt and stuff, and I've washed my hands like 10 times since then and it still hasn't come off. Anyways though, besides the point, this is a Euler's disc. It's a scientific demonstration uh, showing basically conservation of uh, energy and a couple other cool things. And uh, let's just get into this. If you want to buy a kit like this, the exact same one actually, uh, there will be a link to uh, the Amazon page for it in the description below. So this is pretty basic. It comes with a little instruction guide, a little bit talking about what it's supposed to be good for. Uh, it's good for decision making, showing angular motion, uh, showing conservation of energy. A couple of little basic configurations you can do with the triangular pieces it comes with, but we'll get to that in a second. And then a simple exclamation as to what, uh, what's going on. The kit itself is actually these holographic discs. It comes with three of these, which are kind of cool. They're like, based off the direction that the light's coming, they reflect uh, back different colors differently. Uh, a collection of six different wedges that have these same three effects, in, uh, two each, and a disc. That is a magnifying mirror. It's a magnifying mirror. The mirror and the magnification actually has nothing to do with this demonstration. It's just that the mirror here is presumably for a show primarily, and the magnification comes as a byproduct that the mirror is slightly curved in order to uh, for this to function optimally. And then lastly, there is a very heavy, I think it's steam, steel and chrome plated disc. One side is rounded and the other side is completely flat. Now, technically speaking, all you really need for this demonstration is just this disc. The holograms, the mirror surface to spin it on are just a, a bonus and help with efficiency. The thing that's very important is that this disc has these very uh, meticulously polished and rounded edges here that help with the conservation of motion. This product claims that it is a decision maker. Take one or more of the wedge-shaped hologram pieces, arrange them in one specific corner uh, on the disc, so just stick them to there, and then spin the thing and see what direction it points, and it could be yes, no, lotto numbers, or who buys lunch. Ooh. Uh, who likes Euler's disc? Scientists, students will be intrigued. Uh, by the scientific applications of it. Musicians and artists will be fascinated by the rhythmic and musical uh, visual thrills. Musical and visual thrills presented by its rhythmic displays of light, sound, and motion. I don't know about musical. More like a lot of noise, but... And executives and everyone else will be impressed by its good looks. Uh, kinetic action and properties as a decision maker. Yes, should we do that $2.5 billion merger that could ruin a company based off of the decisions of this magical disc? Beyond that, though, uh, back of the box just kind of talks about it a little bit. You can always pause and read this um, yourselves if you want to. I want to actually show this as a demonstration because I'm curious. I'm sure you're all curious to see what it actually does, which I don't blame you. Okay. So, this is the disc, this is the mirror. I'm going to take one of these holographic discs, which are magnetic. I gotta make sure that the rounded side is down on the mirror. Oh, also, I should show you, there's no trick behind this mirror. It is just a piece of plastic and a mirror. 
There's no electronics, there's no batteries required, there's no nothing. Just a plastic disc backing and a mirror. That's what makes this so cool, because it's like, just very, very interesting. The thing that's cool is the magnetic disc just snaps onto here. Uh, I have to make sure that I keep the rounded side down toward the mirror. I am going to turn on a light on my camera here to hopefully help show off the reflective properties of this disc a little bit better. Uh, I first learned about this uh, from Freaking Reviews, which is a, a good channel that I enjoy, and I felt that he showed off the product, but as a viewer and the first time hearing this product, I thought, you know, he's making a really big deal about how awesome it looks, but his actual video showed it looked cool, but it wasn't particularly awesome. So I decided I will get this product. I used his link. If you do end up watching this, I did use your, your affiliate link to buy it. So hopefully you got a little bit of money from that because you did genuinely intrigue me to the product. But I, I decided, you know, I'm sure that I could, if this thing is as cool as it is, I can do a better video on it. And, uh, I feel that I have hopefully accomplished that. I've already recorded some uh, some more footage, which I'll stick a little bit in here, but a little bit in that later. So we got our reflective disc. Let just turn down. That way it's not so blown out. It's very difficult though. It's very, very difficult to get this right. And then by simply taking this disc and spinning it with the rounded side down on the mirror, Let's watch and see what happens. So once again, I, I actually do realize that it was much more difficult to film this than what I initially thought because my DSLR apparently doesn't like the rainbow effect and was basically washing it out and making it look, look very neutral. And I spent hours and hours to get things right but I finally did, hopefully managed to do so uh, after this long period of time. So if you notice, I spun the disc and you would expect it to kind of rotate and then fall flat pretty quickly. But instead, what's happening is this disc appears to be speeding up. Uh, the pattern is going flashing a lot more rapidly and it's just going on for an unreasonable amount of time. And that's what's so cool about this. What's actually happening is that the rounded edges to the disc are conserving the original momentum I put into it and allowing it to just basically conserve the energy by rocking back and forth. And then it stops suddenly. The truth of the matter is, is that the disc really isn't accelerating. Uh, what's actually happening is as it, this, this is to my understanding, as it decelerates, so as it rotates slower, it starts vibrating from side to side more. And with these holographic disc on there, this gives the illusion that the disc is actually moving at a really fast rate. On top of we're usually used to associating that sort of juddering effect and the increasing of speed when it comes to like the with faster motion. So our brains and eyes, our eyes and ears and brain is playing a trick on us to make it seem like the disc is, is accelerating to ridiculous speeds when it, it really is, it should be, to my understanding, slowing down but vibrating quicker. But how cool is that? I mean, it's, it's just a mirror, some plastic, and a heavy chrome disc. And it creates this awesome illusion. It creates a awesome scientific demonstration. And it's just, it's, even if you don't have much interest in the actual mechanism or mechanics behind it, you can appreciate it just for the sheer entertainment value. Stop. 
Okay, and once again, if you are interested in buying one of these, I do have a Amazon link in my description below. It will not cost you any more, but if you do buy using the link, um, the channel will get a kickback from Amazon for linking it, and it will just help support the channel financially, which would be very much appreciated if you would be interested in doing so. If I were to, uh, now let's, let's test its properties as a decision maker by putting a arrow on the thing, I guess. So, and you can just kind of create your own little goofy designs uh, with this. Just have a little fun with these little magnetic wedges. They don't actually have to be completely uh, in line or on the disc, in line with the edges of the disc. You can do some like random stuff. Like let's let's do this. Let's see if it'll work. So this will be my my arrow arrow for telling the fortune or future or decision making or whatever. Uh, and we'll see whether or not uh, should the viewers of this video hit that like and subscribe button. Oh no! Oh, I messed it all up. Give me a second. All right, let's perform a good old take two on that one. So up is yes, they should subscribe and like the video. And down is no, they shouldn't subscribe and like the video. But anyways, as I was saying, I, I actually had a quite a bit of uh, issues trying to get this to look as good on camera as it does in real life. And it actually isn't looking too bad right now on this camera without me really putting much effort into it, which is fairly ironic. But I did get uh, some better shots using uh, my DSLR and this camera. Uh, day and night to really sort of show off the the effects to the fullest extent, which will be a secondary video that will be linked in the description below if you want to see it. It'll just be showing the the videos themselves, or excuse me, the spins themselves in video. Uh, looks like we're about to get our big decision. No. Apparently, no, you shouldn't like and subscribe. You know what? This uh, this thing is, is bogus. I, I'm done. Oh, before I, I storm off in rage, I, I did forget something, which is this disc, uh, I, first off, I believe it was uh, originally invented. I think it's between 1987 and 1990. Uh, it's so good at conserving momentum or energy or whatever you want to call it that you don't even have to spin it if you just drop it with a little bit of an angle i only dropped it about this far on that plate and you can see just that little tiny drop causes this much rocking and motion and it is just absolutely fascinating like it's one of the coolest things i've ever seen there's been some neat scientific demonstrations i've seen in my day but just the whole idea that this could, from that little tiny drop, could conserve that motion for so long. It's, it's very, very interesting. The other thing is, too, if you do end up having uh, one of these, you might get worried because uh, the disc, especially after a bit of use, will leave these, these sort of rings. But just as long as you don't have, like, grit or sand or anything like that uh, on the disc that can actually scratch the mirror, they just come off with a microfiber cloth. Just, just wipe right away like that. So there's no concern there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, to leave a comment. And once again, this will be in the description. And if you, uh, the link to this will be in the description. If you do buy it, uh, it helps support, and no, I can't do it. There we go. It helps support the channel. Uh, Thank you to my Patreons, who support allowed me to buy stuff like this to mess with, and, uh, bye!